Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on some of the new Steam game releases. Got a couple of free titles, some free prologues in there as well, and some other notable games that you do, in fact, have to spend that real world currency on. So... We'll get to those as well, but let's start off with the free stuff. We have Rumble Club right off the top. Punch your friends for free, battle solo, or squad up in clumsy chaos across an ever-changing slate of game modes with up to 20 players. Enter the Rumble Club Arena, a hilarious physics-based multiplayer battle royale. Grab your squad or charge into the slapstick arena solo against 19 other players. Punch, push, throw, and bait your opponents and maybe your friends throughout too. Fly in on Captain Punch's Sky Yacht, get bopped into the arena, and find a powerful and ridiculous gadget to battle with. With constantly changing game modes, get ready to mix it up with your friends from eating cupcakes to being the last punchy standing, but not everything is winning. You'll also get to look good while doing it. Physics fun for everyone. Send foes flying with a well-timed haymaker. Get them down for the count. Throw them into the goop to finish them off. Just watch out for the massive wrecking ball swinging right towards you. Bring a gadget to a fist fight. Not all uh, battles are won with your fist. Find silly gadgets on the battlefield for an advantage. Look good and punch good. Collect and choose between tons of cosmetics. Fancy a tuxedo wizard hat. Or maybe that hat with the safari flaps. I'm sure you can pull it off. And game modes galore throughout. The game is available for free. Obviously, there are in-game microtransactions. They do have a few Founders Packs available as well, but if you want to play the game, it is available completely free. Next up, we have Where Dragon Spirits. The Dragon Spirit series crossover search game will keep your eyes busy. Find all the hiding Dragon Spirits, well-hand-drawn 4K scenes filled with adorable dragons. Short gameplay that won't take up too much of the player's time. Very easy to grab all of the achievements. Very positive reception on this one. 68 reviews, 98% positive. So, another one of these short searching games. It seems like a lot of these have been coming out, but that is available for free, so you can check that out. And as I mentioned, we do have a couple of free uh, prologues. We have Catarsis Cat Venture. Quite the name for a game. Step into the an exciting journey in Catarsis Prologue, a roguelike action game where you are the last hope for the world. In this outlaw-like action game, surviving enemy attacks in each room will require careful choices of upgrading your character abilities and features of weapons in your inventory. Buy and upgrade your weapons and equipment, exciting action-packed roguelike gameplay, and the story notes humans and advanced robots have been living in peace and harmony for centuries, but everything was about to change when a group of powerful and evil robots declare war on humanity. The evil robots who begin to think they no longer needed humans gathered in the net, building and produced many robots to serve their wicked purposes. Then they launched a very devilish war on humanity. At the most unexpected moment, the situation was awful. Only Paul Lab, the most advanced laboratory in the Tarsus universe could stop them. Scientists of Paul Lab had been fearlessly trying to develop a new type of robot that could be their savior, that could be controlled by mental power, but the tests had been failing and failing. The war was coming to an end, and humanity was on the verge of extinction. But then, the laboratory's cat Nix, while handling its cat-like duties of eating, sleeping, and knocking things over, entered the pre-robot prototype. Those who came to the laboratory in the morning could not believe their eyes. Nix was controlling the pre-robot that they had been testing for months, but failed to appear. Okay, so that's quite the wacky premise for a video game. Nonetheless, Catarsis Cat Venture has 75 Steam user reviews and 94% of those reviews have been positive. So a fairly good reception there. That This is a prologue, so keep that in mind. And another prologue demo-esque game we have Akatori Chapter 1. Join young Mako as she ventures into a wild world of exploration and finds a mysterious bird companion. Navigate through two distinct realms with your staff and face off against an ancient sentinel in this prologue to the action-packed Metroidvania in Akatori. Very positive reception on this one. 283 reviews and 91% of those reviews are positive. The full game is looking to be an epic Metroidvania. Very much a throwback visual style here. An intense Metroidvania with action platformer elements and a compelling introduction to the grand adventure awaiting you in Akatori. Take on the role of the young monk Mako as you learn where the game's story begins and encounter the inhabitants of the land of the Emerald Peaks inspired by the Industrial Revolution's East Asia. Join her on an ill-fated expedition into the divine realm of Kawakujo, setting the stage for the epic journey of Mako and her newfound Redbird companion. Fight with staff or fizz, achieve perfection by skillfully combining both combat styles, two out of eight biomes available. Available. Face eight types of regular enemies and for uh, and a formidable samurai boss. Boost yourself with nine collectible ability items and two types of upgrades and enjoy charming diorama style 2.5D visuals, blending pixel art characters, a 3D environment, and smooth animations. All available in chapter one of Akatori, and that is available now. Full game to come. 
in the near future. Next up, we have Tales of Kinzera Zhao. Now, this is actually a game published by EA. I know everybody's favorite publisher these days in electronic arts, but this is a part of the EA Originals label. The EA Originals label also put out titles such as Immortals of Aveum and Wild Hearts. Typically, uh, different games than what EA typically puts out, to say the least. All of the games have been Kind of mediocre in terms of, honestly, from a quality standpoint and uh, definitely from a commercial reception standpoint. I mean, Immortals of Avaeum was a gigantic flop and Wild Hearts didn't kill it as well. Tales of Kinzera Zhao looks like a great game, has a great art style. I do have to say I hate how they did the launch trailer for this game. Like, when it comes to smaller games like this, I feel like promotion is really important. And if you're dropping a launch trailer, you're just going to do a trailer that's... And nothing against content creators. I'm a content creator, but... Just having a bunch of content creator reactions, it just looks so forced in trailers like this. And I'm sorry, I just gotta, I just gotta like make my opinion known. I don't think that's the right way to promote a game, and I just feel like that's just maybe I'm just a boomer. Maybe I just don't know what how, how to effectively promote a game in the year 2024, and this is the move. But I feel like people can see through trailers like this, and they're just like, bro, what, what is this forced nonsense? And maybe that's just my vantage point. I could be completely wrong. I'm not a marketing expert or anything like that, but I feel like I generally know, uh, you know, when games are being promoted well. Like, I look at a game like Stellar Blade, and I feel like that game's being promoted very well. And I look at this, and I'm just like, that trailer is just so questionable. But that is very minuscule in the grand scheme of things. Currently, the game has 16 reviews, 87% positive, and a 19.99 price tag. Pretty decent, all things considered. That is available now. Also available now is Skur Ritual, an intense round a zombie survival FPS, play solo or co-op, shoot your way through relentless waves of vicious horrors with high octane objectives, upgrading steampunk weapons, collecting Celtic god powers, and surviving the onslaught of the quiet ones. Now, this is the full release. It's been in early access for a while, and fairly notable at that as well. 20 bucks for the base game. They do have a Skur Ritual Founders Bundle, Skur Ritual, and DLC. You gotta see, you gotta love to see that uh, right out the gate. $45 for that, but the base game is 20 bucks, 20% off. And lastly... It is officially available now, a Uden Chronicle 100 Heroes. Uh, playing through this right now, about 14 hours in? 14 or so hours in. Some of that might have been idle time, so, you know, take that for what it's worth. Uh, but really enjoying the game. Is it a perfect JRPG? Absolutely not. There are so many quality of life issues with this game, and I get it. It's a throwback JRPG, but... There are games that are coming out, and a lot of games, that are love letters to games of old. But when you do these love letters to games of old, it should be modernized. It should be introduced with quality of life enhancements that make it accessible to a 2024 audience. And it's shocking to me how much a Uden Chronicle is just missing basic, basic things. There's no button to sprint. I feel like that's kind of egregious and the standard movement, considering that the game has you, and this is probably... Uh, Fairly dated quest design as well, going back and forth uh, from the same locales, you should be able to sprint. And the traversal, all things considered, uh, can be a little bit uh, tedious and fairly slow. So far, I have encountered some dungeons that I felt like were just a little bit grating. Um, but overall, narratively, the game seems to be incredibly compelling. Like, as far as where I'm at in the game, it's starting to pick up. The turn-based combat system is enjoyable. I like the visual style. Obviously, a plethora of characters, a vast, vast array of characters. And there are a lot of characters you can recruit. Yes, the gimmick is there's 100 heroes in the game. As I've said before when talking about this game, when you have this many characters in a game... It's obvious that some of those characters are not going to be fleshed out. That's just the reality, and not all of the characters are going to be super likable. Um, that's just the reality. When you have this many characters, you can't give equal attention to all of them. That would just be not impossible, but uh, damn near impossible. Uh, but yeah, enjoy the game, but probably would say either play it through Xbox Game Pass or wait on a sale. GMG does have it 20% off for $40, so if you're going to buy it, certainly go that route. But the Deluxe Edition does have... Story-based DLC content that is to come, so that's a little bit of a bummer, but what can you do? Publishers are gonna do what publishers are gonna do, but that is gonna do it for me. Again, new Steam games right now. Links to all of these in the description box below. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.
Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.